Welcome to the HIM Information Session. In this video, we will discuss what the role of an HIM professional is, the history, the current state and education needed for HIM, and certification options of a health information management professional. But first, what is HIM? HIM stands for Health Information Management. According to AHIMA, HIM is the practice of acquiring, analyzing, and protecting digital and traditional medical information vital to providing quality patient care. What is an HIM professional? Well, an HIM professional is a certified expert in the science and technology of health information management. An HIM professional must have knowledge and skills in biomedical sciences, information science, and technology. Health information management professionals work in a variety of different settings and job titles. For example, HIM professionals can work at a variety of healthcare settings including acute care, health clinics, mental health programs, and long-term care facilities. HIM professionals can also work in government agencies, privacy commissioners' offices, educational institutions, and information technology vendors. An HIM professional can work in a role related to data collection and quality management, data integrity, decision support, standards, access and disclosure, coding, disposition, and privacy health information. Now that we know what HIM is and the roles of an HIM professional, we can talk about the history. In 1928, the Association of Record Librarians of North America, also known as the ARLNA, was established. This is when Canadians and Americans who were working with patient records met together for the first time. In 1942, the CAMRL, or the Canadian Association of Medical Librarians, was created. In the late 60s, the CAMRL applied for college status. In the 70s, the role of the HIM professional expanded to include interpreting records and translating documents into the ICD. During this time, the CCHRA, or the Canadian College of Health Record Administrators, was registered. Also during this time, the CAMRL changed its name to CHRA, which stands for the Canadian Health Record Association. Also in the 70s, CAIHI, the Canadian Institute for Health Information, and the ICD, the International Classification of Diseases, was created. In 2003, CHRA became the CHIMA. And in 2007, the CCHRA changes its name to CCHIM. The Canadian College of Health Information Management. The health information management professionals also had a list of historical titles. Before we were called health information management professionals, we were called medical record librarians, health record technicians, or health record administrator. Now that we know about the history of HEM, what is the current state of this profession? According to the 2009 Health Informatics and Health Information Management Human Resources Report, there are currently around 32,540 HI and HM professionals working in the public sector and the private sector. The report also states the overall employment of HM professionals will increase over the next five years by 2,480 persons to 8,490 persons. In five years, there will be an increase in employment by 7.6 to 26.1%. The report also noted that 13,000 to 32,000 of HI and HIM professionals will need broader skills. In order to become a health information management professional, one would have to hold a diploma or bachelor's degree from a Canadian Health Information Management Association accredited program like BAHIS. After receiving your degree or diploma, you would have to pass the CHIMA exam. 
If you pass the CHEAM exam, you will have to maintain 36 continuing professional education credits per three-year cycle. This is important because health information technology is constantly evolving and it is important for us to keep up. To maintain HAM certified, it is important to obtain the 36 continuing professional education credits every three years. It is also important for you to comply with the CHIMA Code of Ethics and pay the annual fee in order to maintain your CHIMA membership. This concludes the HIM information session. Thank you for listening.